guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 16 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. And we start this one with another game in the Barclays Premier League. We're away at West Brom. Now, we started the last episode with an away game at Hull and we were able to come out 3-0 victors. So we were hoping for something similar in this one. Now, of course, as you'll be able to see on screen, we are currently sat 6th in the Premier League. But now, thanks to that whole win, within touching distance of those in the European positions. So hopefully, if we could continue some sort of form, we'd, uh, we'd be able to get ourselves in and amongst that action in the top four and we got off to a fantastic start Willian cutting inside with a nice Ronaldo chop kept the ball under control just away from the defender and as you just saw driving inside and able to finish on his left foot I was just trying to find enough space to make sure I could get a shot away without it getting blocked I had to come pretty much all the way across the box before getting the shot into that top right hand corner and uh, we were able to take a 1-0 lead and Sammy Leto is going to drive the ball in Essien's going to have a good shot but it's well saved from the goalkeeper and uh, we actually aren't able to, uh, to extend that lead but that was what we were trying to do and what we were looking to do and Essien plays a lovely ball over to Willian fantastic technique a lovely run from him as well playing the 1-2 and unfortunately that left footed shot just rifling past that far left post lovely technique as you'll see from the slow-mo fantastic effort and just a little bit unfortunate with the way that it goes past that far post but uh, they fired back a warning shot just before half time just letting me know you know don't get uh, too cocky or don't get too uh, too overconfident we can still catch you on the counter attack and uh, if that had been a striker as opposed to the right back Billy Jones then perhaps Mark Schwartz might have had something to do in between those two white sticks but Sammy Leto plays a gorgeous ball across to uh, Andre Scherler early in the second half great first touch great second touch to take it away Away from that uh, on-rushing second defender and then it's just a case of composing himself slotting the ball tidily underneath the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner really really nice finish from Andre Schell I was really impressed with that actually and uh, he's been actually performing very very well indeed out on that left flank since we swapped Schell to the left and moved uh, Hazard across to the right they've both stepped up their performances and we've been putting in better performances as a whole and uh, getting better results as a, whole, as a result of that. So uh, very, very pleased with the way things are going so far in this Chelsea career mode. Of course, Sammy Leto putting us 3-0 up there. Really an extremely good turn there with the outside of his right foot. See, as he turns his back on the defender just to make sure that the defender can't see where the ball is, drops his shoulder, turns him, and then fires the ball across the goalkeeper into that top corner to make sure that we get a fantastic lead and a one that we were hoping to hold on to, but we were close to going uh, going back to a two-goal advantage. said absolute calamity with the defenders running into each other and unfortunately for Nicholas and Elka former Chelsea player of course wasn't quite able to uh, to get them back into the game here and then he controls the ball on the top of his head with uh, that chip through ball and uh, we'll see a replay of that just because he just kind of balance it on top of his head as he runs forward uh, almost uh, like you might see some uh, some freestyle footballers do uh, like you know when they play, do tricks and stuff but uh, fortunately for us he wasn't able to put the ball into the back of the net we were able to run out with another 3-0 win so that's three extra points to go towards us pushing up into those Champions League places and as you can see the con Contract that we offered Arturo Vidal in the previous episode, the player that you decided that we were going to buy, has been accepted. So we've made that signing fifteen and a half million pounds in from Juventus, which means Juve can keep Paul Pogba and uh, we'll move on with Arturo Vidal. And he starts his first game for the club against Spurs in a Capital One Cup semi-final first leg. Of course, you can see he started alongside Ramirez, and we've also dropped David Luiz from that CDM role back to centre back. So he's having his first game at centre back for the club, and I was hoping he was going to be able to put in a good performance. But you'll probably be able to tell from the title that uh, this was one hell of a game. But so uh, it is the semi-final, of course, and there are, it is spanned over two legs in the Capital One Cup. Manchester. The City have won their first leg 2-1 as you can see against Southampton so we were hoping to, uh, to put in a good performance and get ourselves in a uh, good standing for that second leg away from home of course it's always easier to play at home in the second leg so we were hoping to go to uh, to go to White Hart Lane with at least a winning advantage of some description but uh, Tottenham came close there to getting themselves in front and a lovely 1-2 with one matter and Fernando Torres matter of course trying to impress we've had that offer from uh, from Liverpool that we've counter offered with a big big uh, target for them to try and match and uh, his position at the club is potentially under threat should that uh, should that high value effort go th or high value uh, move go through and we look to get a replacement perhaps Marco Royce perhaps someone else 
uh, Mata is definitely trying to put in a performance to make sure or prove his worth perhaps to uh, to me and to the team to make sure that he can hold down that first team spot and Andros Townsend went close there of course he is left footed and uh, it was just a poor effort to be completely honest I managed to work him onto his right which was which was what I was trying to do because he is a little bit uh, worse on that right hand side but Hazard's going to whip across him from the right hand side defenders don't get anywhere near it Fernando Torres is on hand to rifle the ball into the back of the net to put us 1-0 up just before the half hour mark of course plenty of effort so far but it's a lovely ball across from Hazard weighted and lofted absolutely perfectly the accuracy was superb on that neither of the defenders can get near it Torres doesn't actually swing a foot at it he just guides it lets the ball hit him as opposed to meeting the ball halfway just guides it into the back of the net we go in at half time with a 1-0 advantage we were hoping to build on that in the second half again 1-0 at the break like we were in the game against West Bromwich Albion perhaps we could come out 3-0 Victors in uh, in this one as well, and they play the ball over to Nasser Chadley. And uh, you may have noticed I just kind of stopped running with the with the defender because I didn't think Chadley was going to get on the end of it, and he did actually manage to find a turn of pace to get there, whip it in, and it was David Louise underneath the ball, obviously uh, in a, a new role for him at the minute, playing at centre back, gets beaten in the air by uh, Roberto Soldado, was extremely disappointed that he wasn't able to win that header. If you remember in the previous episode, he won a header, scored a goal by batting away two challenges from defenders but Soldado just had too much strength from there bounced off the shoulder and unfortunately Tottenham were able to get themselves back on level terms but Vidal has a good shot there well blocked Torres picks up the loose ends gets away from the defender tries to cut it back towards that far post but unfortunately gets too much on it and hooks it past that far post unfortunate and unlucky there but uh, still we're still creating chances which is a good sign you know I was hoping to maybe pick up a second to get ourselves back in front if we possibly could but Chadley's going to do some work down the left hand side find Kirikas of all players in the box draws a good save out of Petatek and I just had to get that away with Ashley Cole because there was a player loitering right there on the edge of the box or edge of the six yard box rather waiting to put that into the back of the net but we're uh, doing some work of our own in their box Arturo Vidal finds the ball on the edge of the box wonderful finish on his debut Arturo Vidal rifles that right into the far bottom corner moves away from the goalkeeper as he strikes it really fantastic effort Torres just lays the ball off from him absolutely perfectly for him to just run on to take a touch set himself cut across the ball and you can see from the replay the way it swerves away from Hugo Lloris right into that bottom right hand corner absolutely superb from him but just two minutes after the restart Tottenham came straight back at me Kapu playing in Tiritez plays in Andros Townsend and how has he got that in from there obviously we saw earlier an effort from him on that right hand side on that right foot was absolutely horrific and then somehow he squeezed that shot in almost hit across it to make it go outside the post and then back inside the far post from a ridiculous angle and Tottenham are back on level terms at 2-2 and that is how the game is going to finish now I can't remember or I'm not sure if away goals count when it comes to aggregate score in the Capital One Cup so let me know down below in the comments if it does or not because if it does we're definitely going to have to make sure that we come out with a win in the next one if not a draw by scoring at least two goals so we've got it all to do in the second leg of that but as you can see we're up to fifth now in the Premier League and only one point behind Spurs and Newcastle in third and fourth respectively and still only three points away from second position Liverpool Manchester City just keep going on from strength to strength still unbeaten in 21 games 17 wins four draws so it does look like they're looking very very strong contenders for the Premier League title but the Champions League is definitely within our grasp so uh, that is going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if it could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb we've hit 60 on the previous few episodes so if we could do that again I'd be really really appreciative for that and uh, of course uh, one thing I haven't mentioned to point is welcome to the new guys that came across from MZH's channel I, uh, I commented on one of his Roma career mode videos and uh, unsuspectingly to me uh, a subscriber of mine commented on my uh, comments saying uh, letting you know other people in the comment section know that uh, I have a career mode etc and that he enjoyed it and was ushering people to come over and we actually gained over a hundred subscribers from that uh, from that uh, kind of happening in the comment section so thank you very much for all of you that have uh, that have come across welcome to the channel uh, i do hope that you enjoy watching this uh, this chelsea career mode i really really enjoy putting it out for you so fingers crossed we can go on from strength to strength in the near future we may hit 4,000 subscribers before the new year who knows we'll have to wait and see but that is going to bring this one to a close so please do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already there will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen over that subscribe emblem and of course if you missed the previous episode which came out yesterday there's an annotation on screen over that snippet of gameplay to take you to that particular video but that's going to bring this one to an end so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time